They're warming up to do a little Don Giovanni. Students in an opera workshop learning all the ins and outs of the Mozart classic. The workshop's called Prelude to Performance, presented by the Martina Arroyo Foundation. The now retired soprano and native New Yorker was one of the top opera singers of her era. Now she helps guide young performers with lessons like when not to sing. And I think we're beginning to learn that now. <laughs> I hope because you can sing, you can over sing. You can sing, get your voice tired. I've learned more about what it takes to succeed in the professional opera world uh, at this point than I have anywhere else. Singers have to audition for the workshop, which emphasizes preparing for an entire role from an opera as opposed to just scenes from different operas. You have to be able to convey messages and portray the character. In addition to Miss Arroyo's presence, the students also work with the city's top coaches, conductors, and directors. I love working with young people. They don't come in with a huge number of preconceived notions. I think what you try to do is, is give them permission to take some chances. There's a lot more to learning to be an opera singer. It's not just about singing, it's about moving on the stage, and uh, uh, sometimes you have to wear costumes too. I was honored to get a lesson from Miss Arroyo on a pretty simple line from Don Giovanni. Don Giovanni. Don Giovanni. That was easy. But opera is a tough business, and an intensive workshop like this can open doors for you or maybe convince you to try something different. Six weeks later, you will leave either saying, I can't ever do anything in my life but this. Or maybe I have to rethink what I'm going to do with my career. And I think that these programs are very important for that. And in opera, it's obvious that some people got it. And some people don't. In Manhattan, sticking with my day job, Roger Clark, New York One.